Hey everyone, thanks for checking in. My name is Josh, and this is gonna be the first video of my truck build series, if you will, on my 2019 Tacoma. Um, got some things that are happening that I'm gonna be building out over the next, well, probably indefinitely, and uh, this is the first video of that series. So if you like uh, trucks and off-roading and camping and stuff like that, uh, I'll have a lot more videos I'll be doing this year on all, all those types of things, as well as gun videos, shooting videos, all that kind of thing. This is the uh, latest edition I just put on. This is the Diamondback. This is the SE series bed cover with the black lining. I opted for the lighter duty bed cover because there's a big price difference between the SE and the HD. It's also a big capacity difference between the two. The SE has a maximum weight really uh, for, for, for moving like a dynamic, uh, well, there's a dynamic and a static load, but I'm just gonna go off of the numbers from their website of 400 pounds because there are only two aluminum studs that go through each cover versus the HD, which is a 1600 pound, and that is uh, moving. So meaning you can put like um, ATVs and heavier loads on top where this one is uh, pretty much max at 400. Now, um, I do plan to put uh, some racks on here, which I already have. That'll be the next video coming out by KB Voodoo. They're called the high rise racks. So I actually have a bar that I brought because I haven't put them on yet as I am kind of trying to do this in a, in a build series one by one. So this is the KB Voodoo high rise rack bar. There are two. One will go across the back of course and one will go across the front. The reason I went with this system is because um, the, the mounts actually go on the inside of the bed, mount to the inside of the bed. So they're not actually gonna be mounting. I don't wanna put any holes through here if I don't have to. If I have to, I will, but uh, down the road but for now trying to keep this is really just a utility cover that's lockable and water sealed for the most part it is watertight it's rained on me quite a few times with this on haven't had any leakage issues as of yet so let's go ahead and come in a little bit closer you can kind of see um, basically what this is there's other videos out there on this uh, tonneau cover but I kind of have a different configuration uh, that I'm going after than I've seen anybody else on YouTube uh, uh, do. So uh, basically it's pretty, pretty simple. There are basically three panels to this system. There's this rear panel, which uh, is locked, and there's the middle section and then the front section. The front and the rear both fold up. I won't do a full review of this panel because it's been done a million times, but you can see it just has the one aluminum stud back here and the same is for the panel on the front these are pretty easy to remove all you have to do is unlatch these gas pistons here you can pull them off and then you can actually slide this cover off pretty easily these covers i think weigh about 35 pounds each so they're really not that hard for one person to take off so if you want to put anything in the bed where it's going to be standing up uh, that's a great option I wanted something that was modular. I'm trying to build a system, a modular system here. So as I uh, put the racks on, I kind of want to be able to take everything off if I need to and use the truck as a truck. I'll go ahead and take a look at the front panel as well. All right, so here you can see this is uh, both panels completely open. Uh, then you have this center channel here. This is actually just held in by four C-clamps, two on each side and they're designed to clamp right into the factory Tacoma bed rail to hold this down. And then these clamp are, are held onto this with these gas pistons, which are easily removable. And then you can slide each of these covers off. Total cover weight on this is about 80 pounds. So you're not really adding a, a lot of load to the, to the truck and it's distributed evenly across, uh, you know, side to side, front to back. And I haven't really noticed any any difference in driving, any weight or anything like that seems perfectly fine. Um, it did come with these four, I 
think they're called cleats installed. I did buy four additional ones, which I'll have to screw in. I'll have to drill holes in the sides if I wanna put those on just to give me more anchor points, which I probably will do at some point in time, but only if it's necessary. I also went ahead and bought the aluminum cross bin 13. This is a, basically a toolbox. I did remove the front mounting points, tie down points, so I could have it slid all the way to the front. It's about a $300 uh, purchase. I think it was $299 and it, um, adding to the, to the total cost of everything. I think everything came in around roughly uh, $2,000. This was all shipped via freight through Estes and uh, no issues there. It was actually a pretty, pretty smooth delivery process, but it does come in on a semi-truck. So if you are getting this delivered to your house, you wanna make sure your house is in a subdivision or wherever you live where a, a tractor trailer truck can easily get in and out. Otherwise you wanna coordinate to meet them somewhere, maybe in a, a shopping mall parking lot or something like that. So just a little pro tip, if you do go with one of these particular bed covers, um, so I'll bring you in and take a look at this cross bin that I bought and uh, you can see how it's set up and, and uh, everything. All right, so you can see this uh, cross bin. It basically, this cross, what they call the cross bin, it's their version of the saddle. I think they call it like the saddle toolbox or something like that. Um, basically it's 13 inches deep. So you actually have quite a bit of depth to be able to put whatever you want back here. I've just been filling it with whatever so it doesn't slide around. So I kind of look at this as having like a trunk in my truck this is easy to take out all i got to do is disconnect these two gas pistons so i can lift this lid all the way forward and then i can pull this out and get the full use of my bed if i need the height i can easily remove the bed cover in about 15 minutes or so maybe a little bit less the more you do it the faster you get but this helps compartmentalize a little bit of my gear i'm going to go camping this weekend so i'm kind of like okay awesome i can throw um, you know, any, any shovel or um, the whatever up front. Uh, I don't think this is sealed. I was kind of thinking about sealing this uh, with silicone. So maybe I could even use it as a cooler. Not quite sure if that, they're gonna try that this weekend, uh, but you know, there are side compartments and then there's the main compartment. So you can kind of separate things out if you wanna put food, toss groceries in here, stuff that you don't want sliding around, getting wrecked um, in the back of the bed this is where you want to put it. This is an optional feature. Again, it was $300. I think it's pretty, pretty worth it. It's aluminum. I don't know the exact weight. My guess would be somewhere around, you know, 25 to 30, maybe 25 pounds, maybe lighter. It's not really not that heavy at all. Um, and it basically just sits over, over the bed rail. Doesn't, doesn't need to be bolted in or anything. And be the pressure from the front lid just holds it down. So it's not going to slide anywhere. Now, if you don't take out your front tie down points, this will sit further back and then you'll have this gap up here. I didn't really want a gap, so I went ahead and actually removed those and I have them in my, in my truck. So if I ever need to put them in, I can, but um, you know, so I, I did take them out. I don't have those tie downs in there right now. Uh, so I would have to screw those back in, not a huge deal. Uh, this is also great for keeping tools and that kind of thing in. So there's really not a whole lot else uh, to this. I know there's other videos online about this particular Diamondback bed cover. Pretty much everyone who's been in researching tonneau covers that are hard top like this have probably run across this. It does have a front and rear locking mechanism. It comes with four keys, which is nice. Uh, it uses these bars across the top. They slide when you turn and they slide under their, their locking mechanisms. Thought about doing an install video but it, there's other install videos out there that are actually really good so this is just kind of my initial thoughts after using it for a couple of weeks so far absolutely loving it it uh, helps with fuel efficiency lets me put things in that are lockable and it looks pretty tough like it looks pretty cool and you can put stuff on top and, and mount it down so with the cleats on the sides like i said i might put the other ones in uh, depending upon how I'm going to configure this. So the next uh, piece I'll be putting on, which I already have, are the KB Voodoo high-rise crossbars. I'm hoping they work out. The idea is that they're quick release, so each bar uh, can be taken off with just two bolts, and then I can, you know, and I can even pull the mounts off if I need to, but that would allow me to open these as you see, because with the crossbars on, I won't be able to open the cover as you see it right now. 
I have seen other people that have mounted them right to the covers, but that requires drilling holes and all of that. And all I really need the crossbars for is a rooftop tent, which I won't have on all the time. So I kind of like the idea of, hey, when I'm planning to go on a trip, I'll throw the crossbars on, it'll take a couple minutes, can drop the tent right on, bolt it down, I'm ready to go. But then when I'm not using it, or if I'm going out of town or on a road trip where I'm not gonna be using the tent, then I don't need all that extra stuff on there and I have full use of my covers. So without having to drill holes into them. Um, I kind of think if I was gonna go that route, I probably would go with the HD bed cover. So that's something you might wanna consider is if you're gonna be putting a lot of weight directly onto the Diamondback cover, you may wanna consider stepping up to the HD 1600 pound capacity. That way, if you're bolting like your, your bars and you're mounting your tent and any other kind of gear, recovery gear on the sides or whatever, um, or you have the flexibility to put maybe an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, depending upon how big or long your truck bed is, you may wanna consider that. It is quite a bit more expensive. Um, the, this particular bed cover, I think, was like $1,300 and I paid a couple hundred bucks for the dark, uh, this kind of rhino lining. Um, uh, uh, yeah, you spray, I don't know if it's like Rhino Lining or, or a, a Linex, but it's some kind of a, a similar type product. Um, so that's a little extra. Otherwise, it's basically just the stainless steel. And I like I liked the black and I wanted it to be a little bit more rugged. Also, all of the hardware came black, which is nice because it kind of, uh, it just has a cool look to it. I, I'm really, really digging it. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's not a whole lot else to say about it. I mean, it's a tonneau cover. I think people are familiar with it. This is just kind of the way the first video in like building out my truck the way that I want to is to started with this and that gives me a lot more function with the rear, with the bed and storing stuff, keeping it dry and being able to lock it. So when I go to the gun range and things like that, um, just have a little, another layer of security uh, to be able to, you know, while I'm in transport to keep everything locked in the back. Next thing is the KB Voodoo high rise crossbars. And then I've got to get a tent. I don't have, I haven't purchased the tent yet. So appreciate any thoughts, comments, considerations. I've been looking at the CVT Mount Shasta, uh, as well as the Tapui uh, rooftop tents. I do like the fold out one. I like the idea of getting a, a, having a small footprint and then folding out to get a larger area. Uh, and I'm trying, one of the other reasons I like the crossbars idea is because the, the mounts are inside of the, of the bed and they come up and the crossbars are fairly low profile. So the tent, I can try to keep it as low in line with the, with the roof as possible. And then I'm also gonna do the Prinzu racks on the front, on the front cab uh, with uh, probably a light bar or something on that, uh, on the front. So I'll be heading out this weekend to do some camping and I'll get some footage of that. And then I'll probably be doing quite a bit this spring and, and summer up in the North Georgia mountains and into the Smoky Mountains. So trying to get all this done before the, before the weather gets real nice because I plan to spend a lot of time up in the mountains camping and doing some hiking and things like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you found any value, definitely uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate the likes. I got a lot of hate on some of my other videos, making fun of everything from my clothes to my shoes. And I, I don't know, it's crazy, it's YouTube. But anyways, I appreciate the comments, uh, good or bad. And uh, even, even the trolls, you, you guys are great. You're, out, you're awesome. And uh, if, if you have any suggestions on a rooftop tent, just drop a comment down below as I do read all the comments and try to respond to every single one of them. So I do appreciate all the feedback. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope everyone's having a great week and uh, catch you on the next video. Later.